So question eight then. The last question in paper two of the final year of the old hire, the 2015 hire, and it's a wave function question. Here we've got this wind turbine. So the height's given of whatever, the height's given by this expression here. And obviously you're going to combine them into a single wave. It says, combine just this portion of it, not the 65, combine this portion here into the form of k sine 1.5t minus a. Well, so we just start off. Loads are right in. Sine 1.5t minus 15 cos 1.5t is to be written in the form of k sine 1.5t minus a. So you expand this. So they're going to use the sine 1.5t cos the a minus, just look up the front, switch partners, cos 1.5t sine a. Then I like just to isolate the proper coefficients. So for sine t, I've got a coefficient of k cos a. That was a bit ambitious sine 1.5t minus k sine a of the cos term, cos 1.5t. Because now you're going to compare the two sides. The sine term here with the sine term here, the cos with the cos. But I think I'm going to do the cos first of all. So that the coefficient of cos is negative this thing, which should be negative 15. The signs are fine. So k sine a equals 15. Then the sine terms, the coefficient of the sine term is 36, the coefficient of the sine term is k cos a, so k cos a is 36. I'm still going to set this out. The way you get k is by squaring and adding, but that will probably not be involved at all in the marking. So that k squared will be 15 squared plus 36 squared, but that's 3 fives and that's 3 twelves, that's a 5, 12, 13 triangle. You know that this is going to come out, put it in the calculator if you like, at 3 thirteens, which is 39. And similarly, if you do 1 divided by 2, you'll knock out the k's. You'll end up with the tangent of a is 15 over 36. So the a will be the inverse tan of 15 over 36. Or it just says it's in the first quadrant there, but they're both positive. So you are in the first quadrant, so it's just whatever your calculator gives you the first time out, that'll be your answer. Set it into radians. It's a radians question. Set it into radians. It's easy enough. Mode, radians, and then you just need to do inverse tan of 15 over 36, and you get 0 0.39479, and so on. We'll take it to three decimal places. That gives the same sort of accuracy as one decimal place for degrees. So there's the two parts. And it said express it in this form rather than what's A and K. So finally, that means it's equal to 39 sine of 1.5t minus 0.395. The next part says, hence find the two values of t for which the tip of the blade is at a height of 100 metres. Well, that was the expression for the height of the tip of the blade, and that's to come to 100 metres. So you've, re you've rearranged it into this. That means that this thing should come to 100 metres. So it's just solve that equation for t. You notice this is a 1.5, so you could sneak into following wavelengths maybe, but it does just say the first two. Right, so just get rid of all the bits and pieces. So take the 65, that'll do two at once. Take the 65 across and subtract, that'll be 35. Divide within 39, so it's 35 over 39. That's what the sine part comes to. I've all got 1.5t, whoops, minus 0 0.395. Now I can get what the angle comes to, minus 0 0.395, will be the inverse sine of 35 over 39. You're in radians, hopefully, so it's just a case of shift sine of 35 over 39. And you get, and you know this is one of the answers, 1.1139, etc. 
I've done it now. Or the sine's positive. You can either think of all sine tan cos, so it's going to be here and here. Or, but you're in radians, so that's pi. Or that amount short of pi, so it's either that, which I think I'll just round off now to 1.114. Or pi minus 1.114. Or you could have some more if you wanted to add on some more wavelengths. If you needed more than the first two answers. But you only need the first two answers, so I don't need to bother with any more than those two. Because you do know that it just keeps repeating itself. You know, there's just a heck of a lot of calculations here. So I'll just put it down here. 1.5t will equal 1.114, because that's ready to go, plus 0 0.395. Or it'll equal this thing, which I could just leave like that, because I've still got to add 0.395 onto it. I could just write the whole lot down. Oh, I'm just going to write the whole lot down. Pi minus 1.114, I don't know if there's a mark for specifically saying what that is, plus 0 0.395. And why not at the same time, we'll just say, and then divide them by 1.5, and there you go, these will be your two answers, and that gets all that arithmetic out of the way. So just make sure your calculator is full of coal for this coming calculation fest. So we've got what? That's the first answer. Hardly anything. 1.006. So that's like one second. It's going to take one second to get up there. Or, now the next one. Here comes the second one. 1.615, etc. The only other thing you might have done is just to simplify what this is first of all. And have it in there. And those are both seconds. I'm just going to leave that accuracy in. Even though that's seconds. So we're talking about thousandths of a second there. It looks like a pretty fast wind turbine anyway. Just, is this right? So what does it say? See this thing here? This says you've got some turbine that's sitting. The centre is 65 up. It's got a radius of 39 it says. And it starts off from here. Remember that? angle was just down a bit. It starts off here, that's at 65. If the radius is 39, then it only just tops the 100, doesn't it? Because the very top of it is actually at 39 onto 65 is 104. So that'll be why they're so close together. In fact, it looks like it only takes 0.6 of a second to get past the top there. Ah, maybe that is reasonable then. It still seems quite fast just to take a second to get up to there. Still, Here's question eight.